So I found seven different gluten-free everything bagels and I'm gonna try every single one of them to determine what's the best gluten-free bagel your money can buy at a grocery store. Let's get right into it. Ah. We're gonna start from the least to the most expensive. Oh, do Oh, do Oh, do Price, ingredients, nutrition facts. Untoasted. Toasted. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Take that to the bank and cash it. So, I mean, these are paper thin, and I feel like it's a clever way around the no gluten thing, because gluten makes it rise and stretch, so they're just like, okay. Well, what if it just didn't rise and stretch and we just called them skinny bagels? That being said, these are some of my favorites because they're so little. They're so little and dainty. You don't feel like you're even eating a bag. You don't feel guilty about it or anything. I'm a big fan of these. Really delicious, especially when they're toasted. The crunch is so good because they're so thin. But you're not gonna get that soft interior that you might want from a bagel. I would definitely recommend these. Taste-wise, I think it's gonna be hard to top. This could be a contender for the number one spot, which would be kind of depressing to know that this would be the number one gluten-free bagel. But it is what it is. Next up is Odie. Price, ingredients, nutrition facts, random mean from the office. Admittedly, I've never really been a big fan of Udi's. I'll put some respect on its name because it is like the mainstay in the gluten-free world. They're an OG, they've been doing it. That being said, this bagel on toasted bears a striking resemblance to a poppy seed muffin. I've never seen such a stark contrast in toasted and untoasted before. This actually looks pretty good. This, mm, I don't know. Considerably more plump than um, the first one we tried. Let's bite it into it untoasted. I'm not looking forward to this. Doughy, doesn't taste at all like a bagel. I wouldn't even know what this tastes like. Cake, maybe? Yeah, nope, not a fan. I might have toasted it too much. There's just not that much everything flavor. It's more like a nothing bagel. This is the kind of stuff that people who can eat gluten kind of make fun of. That being said, it's actually on the cheaper end of these bagels, so it's an affordable option. That That's definitely a plus. Trader Joe's. Price, ingredients, nutrition facts, banana. I'm a pretty big Trader Joe's guy. I've had the seasonal pumpkin bagels. I've had the bread plenty of times. It's record-breakingly tiny. So I'm actually pleased to see their bagels are somewhat regulation size. Okay, first impressions, I don't see a lot of everything on there. It's kind of like a little bit burger <laughs> bagel. It has the slightest garlic taste. Very, very hints of garlic. Not great on toasted. It's a little doughy too. It kind of has the texture of the Udi's. A little bit more bread-like. It's better toasted, definitely. When it's toasted, the texture becomes pretty airy and nice. If you've had their bread before, it feels very light, is a word to describe it. This has the same composition. No. Yeah. Now we're starting to taste like a bagel. That was the closest thing to like a dupe bagel that I've tasted so far. That bite right there. Short replay. There's always a catch with gluten-free stuff. You know, there's only four bagels in this. It nets out to about 112 a bagel. Still on the cheaper end for gluten-free. Yeah, I'll take another bite. I'll take another bite, sure thing. Pretty good. All right, next up we got Char, another OG. This looks like this is a new flavor, which I'm excited about. They look pretty big. Price, ingredients, nutrition facts, Kermit the Frog doing the gritty. Okay, so on first impressions, Char has a little bit more of like a whole grainy look to it. Hmm. I can't pinpoint the taste of it untoasted. It's more like a whole grain bagel. The real test is uh, what it tastes like when it's toasted, because who eats a bagel untoasted? That's much better, that's much better. Again, the taste is so minimal though. I'm not getting the everything taste that I really want right now from a lot of these bagels. No onion or garlic or really anything like that in the taste profile. That being said, it has a nice like plumpness to it. It's got a pretty good texture. This is a fine regular bagel, but we're talking everything bagel. Moving on, Queen Street Bakery. Price, ingredients, nutrition facts, Mr. Bean. These bagels take a different approach. They're uh, made with like sorghum flour, arrowroot flour, and fava bean flour. So it has like 10 grams of fiber in a bagel and like six grams of protein. I'm gonna like classify it as like a healthier bagel. This is the amount of everything I wanna see on an everything bagel. All the other bagels are kind of like just dipping their toes into the everything space. This one went all in, they're head first. These don't really toast up that easily. I think it's because they're made with beans. It requires more toasting, but I'm a fair an impartial judge, so I'm toasting them all exactly the same. Mm -mm. I do not like it untoasted. It has a distinct taste. I usually toast them way more, and they're better like that. As currently toasted and untoasted, it's spongy, the texture, but that being said, there's something about it that I keep going back for more. I've eaten so much of these since they send them to me. My tip here would be just to toast them more, but they are gonna be a little squishy, a little bit 
chewy. And again, I think it's the beans. But I do like it, I really do. It's kind of a toss up. I don't know if everyone's gonna love this. I personally like it because I'm like, ooh, I'm getting my fiber and my protein. They're Canadian brand. I think it's definitely worth a try. Canyon Bakehouse, probably my favorite bread and I haven't really been a stranger to saying that. Price, ingredients, nutrition facts, a really nice picture of me and my mom. Hi, mom. I, if I'm being honest, this looks more like a garlic roll than uh, than a bagel. It doesn't have a hole in it. It bears a striking resemblance to the Udi's one, um, untoasted. It tastes pretty similar to the Udi's one too. I don't love the texture untoasted. I don't like any of the textures untoasted. Again, I don't think that matters. I just figured I'd document it for the, the select few of you who eat bagels untoasted. Oh, that's nice. That was good. That tastes just like a bagel. Again, not a strong everything taste. It's very subtle. I want more. I want more everything. I'm like Thanos with this with this uh, rings. I want all the everything. Give me the poppy seeds. Give me the garlic. Give me the onion. It's kind of ironic how gluten-free bread always has holes in it, but the bagels don't. <laughs> That might be the best texture so far when toasted. It's really good. Still, no hole. Yeah, none of these really have holes. I don't know what's going on there. The gluten-free hole puncher must have skipped a day at the office. You know, the guy who pokes all the holes in the gluten-free bread? Last one. The greater need. I don't want it, I need it. Before I get into this, I just want to give a quick RIP to Aldi's bagels. I went to Aldi, I tried to find the bagels that everyone rants and raves about, and it turns out they discontinued them at the end of April 2023. So, RIP, I wish I met you. You seem like a great guy. Okay, let's get into it. Price, ingredients, nutrition facts, nothing. I ain't putting nothing up there this time, okay? First impressions, this bagel is small, but incredibly heavy. I, my arms, if I was to do this, like my arms are already tired. I'm already getting a pump. And I guess they're preservative free, so they didn't look great out of the bag. Full disclosure, I took them out of the freezer last night to put them in the fridge so I could eat them untoasted, but I think you're not supposed to do that. So, I hope I don't get sick. No. That's really chewy, really dope, really. I should probably toast this one more, but again, I'm a fair and impartial judge. I toasted everything on six out of seven. Okay, my memory card ran out of space right before I took that bite, so. Got you on the iPhone now. Not a ton of crunch, tastes pretty good. Still not as much flavor as I wanna see. For the price point, I would say go for the cheaper alternative. And I'm gonna say my favorite gluten-free store-bought bagel has to be Odo's. Odo, Odo, Odo. Let me know if you like this format and like and subscribe, ring that notification bell, do all the things, please. I'm trying to grow this page. Love you guys. Peace.